Hello, my name is Mikey the Mighty and thanks for watching my video. Today, it's been a while since I last did one of these, it's how you can make gold in Guild Wars 2 in 2016. And I kind of discovered this, it, it, you know, I've been a bit slack with the, you know, sort of how to make gold because there's many different ways now. They, with the April 2016, or well, spring uh, 2016 update, they made uh, things a lot easier to get gold on, you know, so running dungeons, for example, fractals, these are all ways that are generally well known. And I wanted to create a video that encapsulates, yeah, encapsulates something that really is quite unknown for a lot of people. And this is how you can make gold just by crafting some items. And it has to do with people actually uh, earning a particular achievement. Uh, and this has actually to do with the raids. Now, people were wondering about this. Uh, you can go down to your collections and look at the legendary armor. Legendary armor is uh, roughly sort of you need all these parts. We're waiting for wing three, so we're going to be fine. Uh, but to actually craft some legendary armor, you need several different components. We don't know everything yet, but what we do know is we will need to get this experimental armor uh, collection complete. Then, however, we need to come to this guy here. Oh, not this guy here. Uh, we actually need to come to this guy, the Faction Provisioner. And this here is where you actually get one of these gifts. The Gift of Craftsmanship. Now this is a, uh, a gift that apparently we need six of, six of to create your six different armor pieces. You need one per armor piece. That is apparently what it is, uh, which means you need 300 tokens. How do we get tokens? Well, we actually uh, tra uh, swap this in for different items. And you actually don't get access to all this until you've actually traded him an item. And the items are very, very high value because you can only actually get five tokens per day. And you can only actually give a, a weapon to each provision of faction. You can see there's all over the mini all over my map. Yeah, uh, you can only actually give one per faction provisioner, and you can only get five a day. So let's take that in perspective. If you actually need six armor pieces for your all your armor set. And you want six legendary armor pieces, you only need 300 provisioner tokens. Well, you're limited to five a day. So, 300 divided by five means 60 days worth of actually going around to these guys and to put in the faction provisioner in. Now, I have been given this, this is somebody I was having a discussion with a number of different people actually. Uh, I, I do believe actually you might only need one. Okay, so they might, I, I don't know if they're going to change that or not, wh whether or not they'll clarify it when it comes out. But you will need a minimum of one, which means you need at least 10 days of getting a gift of craftsmanship. And these weapons are generally rather expensive. So let's pop to one that I actually haven't uh, looked at. So let's go over to this waypoint over here. And we'll speak to another faction provisioner and actually ask him, well, what, what's the type of materials, well, what items are he, is he looking for? And I want to show you how much these items actually go for on the trading post. And this is where it, you can actually craft them yourself and sell them on the trading post because these are quite high in demand because people want this legendary armor. So here you can see he wants rare crafted armors with cleric insignias. So let's actually go to the trading post and let's actually have a look on the trading post. And um, we'll change, uh, we'll go to rare. So he wants rare items, level 80, and we want cleric. So we'll type in cleric. And you can see here some of the items that we actually get. Now he wants rare, ha cler rare crafted hammers, foci, pistols, gloves with cleric insignias on them. So if we actually have a look at the cheapest, none of these, because they're rare crafted, they're, so obviously they have to be crafted rather than dropped. And you can scroll down and generally none of these items up until you get to around this area here. So rare crafted hammers. Well, where's the rare crafted hammer? This is obviously going to be a crate hammer. So there we go. It's going for 1.1 gold. Now clerics, the, the uh, items that you need, I believe are totems, they're actually very, relatively cheap. And not only that, what also you're going to be giving out are you need to give Mithril and uh, Elder Woods logs or planks eventually to craft these types of materials. You know, a crate warhammer, uh, you've got, uh, you want a crate, so that's actually Cleric's crate for the weapons. Well, they ignore the armor for now. But um, if we actually put them by price and we actually go again, I think it hasn't 
quite worked out, but let's search for it again. Cleric's Crate. So here we go. You can see here what they're actually looking for, uh, a star, so you're looking for the focus. So there we go. That's 1.2 gold. But look at the difference between a focus and a wand. Cleric's Crate Wand is 59 silver, and that's 1.2. Well, why is it that so expensive? And it's because of this. This system and to getting uh, provisioner tokens. Look at this again. You've got a staff, 1.2 gold, pretty much. Why is that on there? Well, again, it's actually used not in particular with this provisioner, but it's actually with somebody else as well. Um, and these, like, handguns. See, here's the pistol. This, car uh, this actual provisioner trader wants the pistols. That's why it's 1.2 gold, the Warhammer. So that's why there's such big disparities between certain weapons when you actually search on the trading post. And this is where you can come into your own. So let's actually go in and actually go to... We're going to go to Rattison because it's just easy for us to go there. And let's look uh, and take for an example and see how much it actually costs to craft. Now, I'm actually on my weaponsmith, so we're actually going to go and craft... Uh, we'll say take the Warhammer. And the Warhammer is 1.2 gold. So let's actually figure out if we're actually going to make some profit on this and see how much profit we're going to make. Because these uh, generally, a lot of these recipes are, you know, higher items. They, 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 they don't cost too much, but because the fraction provisioners, you only allow, you can only do them five a day, people are actually going to need them. And not only that, I'm surprisingly uh, little amount of people are actually doing the these provision tokens, so they will come in to a lot of demand when uh, the actual, uh, you know, when it comes time for the legendary armor to be released. So as you can see here, we are in Rattasum, and we are going to go to the Weaponsmith. Now let's take it, for example, a Crate Warhammer. So what do we need for the Crate Warhammer? Well, we actually need to get a crafting recipe, and this is what you come to this vendor here, and he'll give you the, you know, the Cleric's uh, Mithril Imbued Inscription. Now, as you can see here, I already have that. It costs you 600 Karma. So let's actually see if we've got that. We don't need the Grandmaster or Master, Journeyman, Apprentice, Initiate or Novice. Uh, and then we're going to look at the, the hammer. Well, we've only got one mithril, uh, one guy, one hammer so far. So let's actually have a look what else we can craft. So let's craft two of these. So we're actually looking at mithril ingots. It's going to cost us six ingots. And remember, let's actually keep an eye on the ingots, how much they're actually worth. Uh, they're worth 1.4. So, so we'll round it up to 1.5 just to make sure. So for six, we you know we're talking nine silver for the planks. We only need four because actually we need two mithril plated stuff. Now the planks are actually fairly a bit more expensive. We're going to round that down to eight silver, and so we need sixteen silver plus the nine, so that's twenty-seven silver for the mithril plated dowels. And there we go. So twenty-seven silver. So that's what we're at so far. Um, and then what we're going to do? We're going to craft a cleric's mithril imbued. Uh, so we want the rare one that needs to. So there we go. The totems, I'm going to include neg negligible because so many people have these totems. I've got stacks of them. Uh, not even by trying. They're worthless. So here we go. We're going to go and we're going to craft the hammerhead. Now the hammer, obviously again, it will require two of these. And these are, what did we say they were going to be? We're going to call them eight silver. So that's 16 silver. Uh, and so we're, we're moving on up a little bit more in terms of how much we're actually spending. So we're up to about 40 silver right now. But then we want the hammerhead. Now the hammerhead, again, is three ingots. And that's roughly, you know, we, we said it was about two and a half, uh, 2.5 silver. So again, you know, we, we're look, looking at another nine silver for the hammerhead. So add that on. We're talking roughly a 55 silver cost. And that's obviously going to go fluctuate. Uh, and then we actually go and use this. We haven't discovered this recipe, so let's discover that. There we go. And so overall, and uh, just put that away. So it's cost us about 60 silver to, you know, roughly make this. Just rounding it to figures. So let's actually sell that on the trading post. Well, let's put that there. We will make a profit, which is the listing fee and the exchange fee, of 94 silver. So that's actually around about 35 silver profit that I've made just from one weapon. Right there. Um, these items, it's just taking a little bit longer to load. This isn't even, this is just randomly I picked this Cleric's Warhammer. Think about some of the other stuff. You saw that the, the wood actually is quite more expensive. And uh, there we go. I've, I have actually sold that. So you can see here, 
Um, there it is, 1.1 silver. But you can see some of the other weapons that you got. I've already got Great Warhammer on there. Giver's Mace. I mean, geez, look at the Giver's Mace. It's 2.4, like the amount of silver. Obviously, it needs to be sold. But um, we're getting an error like that. But you can see just how much profit you can make by creating these recipes. And the problem is, for players, you know, that want to get these provisioner tokens, remember you can only get five a day. Now, if you wanted to do it, you know, you could craft maximum and go around day by day. Uh, I'm up to 19 because I wasn't exactly buying them, you know, so I've been buying them up to a point, and I've realized, oh, hold on, I can just craft them myself. Why don't I just do that? And it will save you a lot of gold uh, if you're actually going for that. But you can be making a lot of profit. And, you know, I'm hoping, that, you know, as from a selfish point of view, yes, I... I, I should I put this video out there and then everybody just start doing it? Well, if I'm going to be making money, then probably not. However, I just want to share this information with you guys because it will allow people that just want to buy it. The price will hopefully go down. But if you were ever wondering why certain items are way more expensive on the trading post, despite the fact that there really doesn't appear to be big demand, for example, as I said, like a Cleric's Warhammer, why would that be, you know, more valuable than other Warhammers? Because Cleric's gear really isn't fantastic in certain circumstances, but or a Cleric's pistol, for example not really that relevant you know pistol was really used mainly by the engineers and thieves you're not going to get really medi healing uh, that type of gear on those characters so that's why uh, in the game right now those items are way more expensive but let's actually as i said uh, look at as well the you know the other items that i've already got on the trading post uh, this is, again, this is the stuff I know they're probably going to have to resell this. But again, the Cleric's Warhammer, Crate's War Shell. Uh, a shell, you know, uh, we can look at this, okay, a Valkyrie Crate Set Shell. So let's look at that, the shell. So that's just shield, okay? So I'll build one shield, that's two. So remember, it's nine uh, for silver for that. Another nine, so that's 18 silver for the shield boss. And then if we make another two here, okay, and so there we go. And we want to have a Valkyrie inscription. So there we go, Valkyrie's inscription. And there we go. Uh, we'll see if we can get a discovery. Yeah, we can get a discovery recipe. So let's sell the Valkyrie uh, crate shell. Um, that's it. You can see there, 1.48 silver. You can just, I'll list that there. And if you want to just check, look at the crate shell. Oh, it needs, needs to be one I'm buying. Crate shell. So let's actually have a look at Crate Shell. Look at the difference in disparity between uh, Sentinel's Crate... Alright, Sentinel's a little bit out, uh, different. But a Cleric's Crate Shell, and then a Valkyrie. A Valkyrie's Power, Vitality, Ferocity. But you think Berserker Shell, that's probably going to be a bit better. Uh, well, that's 1.4 gold. Again, that's actually one of the items listed. But the Rampage's one, you know, look, uh, Assassin's one, that's 98 silver, because again, that's on, on, on one of the Provisioner Traders. But you can get shields for, like, the Knights and the Cleric's shields are so low. You think, well, uh, hold on, a Cleric shield, you think, powers us from this healing power, might be good for a Guardian. Well, 65 silver, that's yeah, not too bad. And then you look at the Sentinel shell, all right, that's got power, toughness, vitality. But uh, look at the Rampage's one, that's pretty cheap. But then a Berserker's, yes, it's obviously Zerker gear. But then a Giver's one, Power, Vitality, Condition Duration. A Condition Duration? Who, why would you want a Condition Duration? Maybe a Guardian that uses Burning on Block might find this interesting. But again, the Giver's Crate Shell is something, a recipe that is uh, one of the provisioners actually needs to trade for tokens. And the reason why, again, you look, we want this tra these tokens the provisioner tokens because they will allow us to buy the legendary gear they're limited they're time gated five a day which means to get a uh, one gift you will require 10 days of buying them and this is where you can actually make a substantial amount of profit i've already done this uh you know i've got a bit of gold but i actually spent a hell of a lot actually just to get chaos chaos gloves uh, and so this is my tip for you guys if you want to help if you're crafting if you're actually leveling up crafting I'd recommend oh, you can see there I've already sold to create Warhammer so there we go I made that 35 silver and that was easy to, easy peasy um, Think about if I created a whole stack of the you know, massive amount of them you can really make a lot of your gold back because As I said the legendary uh, weapons people are the legendary armor. Sorry people aren't going for it right now They they are not really that keen on it because the legendary armor we can't get in the game so when the time comes for arena to re reveal wing three and then be like okay you can get your legendary armor now people are then going to be like shit i need those provisioner tokens let's get them let's get them oh i need all these weapons and then bam 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 that's when you hit the money 
So there we go, guys. It's this is my my little tip for you guys. It's how you can make gold in 2016. Hopefully, this would be a little nice information for you guys. Any comments? Please leave them in the section below, and I'll see you on the next one.